Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Overlord 2. I'm your host, Rainbow Tundra, where we last left off, we finished this very stylish helm, alongside getting our sword to cut through a swath of jungle to try to find our greens. Ah, it's so nice to see the minion. So, let us go back and try to get the green hive, now that we kind of know where it's supposed to be. To Everlite. Been so long since I had to say ever something. As a form of forested area, but ah oh well. I mean, I'm nothing like what I could presume to be my father. If he held this position before me and you said trapped in an abyss, I can only picture that he could suffer a fate such as this. Aren't I supposed to just have a ton of greens? Do I have to go back and get the greens? I'm gonna just run back there real quick. No, the game would have something set up where I could get my greens. So I'm just gonna... I'll take the lot of you with me. No, it should actually be very easy. So I'll send them all back for now, and I'm just gonna go physically grab the greens real quick before we get started. If only because I kind of just want to get them back before going ahead, because I feel like we're going to need them. I also get to fill up my map just a little bit more. I wonder how they actually do it. Is it like you just go near a certain area and then it uncovers? Because there's only a limited amount of map space I have on this. I digress, though. Ah, yeah, I had, I had an idea. There are our green. Well, let's get these guys equipped with something. I said let's get them equipped with something. I didn't say equip them with nothing. Good lord. Get some clothes on, you people. And by clothes, I mean weapons and armor. We're gonna need them if we're gonna have to fight our way through the Empire. We also proved that I have an immense ability to kill giant pandas. And I definitely do enjoy murdering them. It's... the emotional catharsis of killing something much larger than yourself is... phenomenal. Right, they're not called pandas yet, we don't know that they exist. Or what they're supposed to be called. Technically. Technically. I also love how this just burrows. This is a much more efficient way than having the stationary gates from before. Now, do I want frontline fighter? No, we'll take reds. Greens will have to support, supplant my frontline fighters for the meantime. Alright, we already know that that's closed off to us. We'll just have these guys clear the foliage with our passing. I know going over there is useless because there's nothing worthwhile. So, let us commence this journey. A bumbling we go, a bumbling we go. Hi ho to and fro, a bumbling we go. You should consider a little bit of sneaky camouflage, sire. Reds! Don't I have a red that's... Oh, I have a missing red already. You know, I'm gonna have the reds right there. I'll take the greens with me. Greens! Right, options. Uh, game. Never mind. I guess I just don't have access to doing that as of yet. Interesting. So they're immune to all the lovely and wonderful poisons. But simultaneously, I just kind of want to explore and see what's available to me. But I guess I'll have to do that from here. Okay, I have seven more. There they are. Was it alt? There we go. Alright. First things first, I'm very, very, very curious. What be down here? Nothing at all. That's actually very disappointing game. So we have our reds who are all positioned... Right. Don't... I hope you won't die by stupidity's sake. If you die, that's entirely your fault. 
Or maybe now, he's just huffing to get high. it's important to make the most of that green's stealth abilities. Oh, I don't envy you inside that smelly carcass. Just breathe through your mouth, sire. But wouldn't I have the chemical disposition of the greens? I.e., with their neurochemistry, I wouldn't actually notice the smell, because they don't. Because I have their learned behaviors. It's presumably... I just want to... That place certainly is heavily guarded. Very odd. I wonder what's going on inside. Well, you'll soon be finding out, Lord. If they have our hive, you need to find a way in and start smashing some heads. There's our hive. Hello, and what is this? Life force. Oh, I get it. There'd be greens in there. Okay. That's important. What in the hell am I looking at? Hmm. This place interests me. It interests me greatly. I'll pick up some gold in the meantime. Don't know how it gets back to my hive so quickly, but... It, hive. No, no, not hive. Base. I'm the overlord. I'm not this minion. I am the Overlord. I am me. Nothing else. Now what? Am I supposed to like jump off or? Hmm. I'll figure it out later. Um. Oh, there's more stuff down here. I guess this is just a bunch of extra little stuff to encourage you to explore. I guess it's not necessarily about how to miss this. There's the hive! Ah, that was quite easy. Unfortunately, now we need to get it out of there. It's too big for the minion hole. What in the... You need to get to that elevator behind the gates, Lord. That's the only way we'll get the hive out. Free supplies. Okay. This interests me greatly. Can we equip ourselves with anything else? Snake! You can't risk anything being discovered behind enemy lines. You must equip yourself. Using anything found in the field and leave nothing behind. Okay! Let's go. Snake, what did you discover? Some form of gold and crystal. Snake, those are evil gems. When you regain your true form, that is what you'll need to continue going forward. Stop the greens from picking that up, Snake. It's not time for that yet. Otaka. I don't like the look of those fellows either. Stay out of sight and away from those beams. Otacon, I hear some high pitched chirping. Those are gnomes. Your greens can hide in those gardens to avoid detection, sire. They like a bit of shrubbery. Okay. So the route is going to be sneaking around him. I hate that we're at bloody war with those freaking gnomes. All because they decided to take a little thing too far from your true form, Snake. Everybody knows that your true form is completely blameless for everything that he does. Greens. Seriously. Really? Alright, let's just open all these up. No, don't do anything stupid. Yet. It's not time for that. I see, that's the way forward. But what be down here? Oh, it's just more treasure. There's a lot of treasure here. I like this. 
All right, Mr. B. Monicus, this way. So we just do we just auto stealth? We do. Okay. Sneaking down here real quick. Grab everything that we can. Greens, quit being utterly brain dead. Alright. Everyone stay in here. Snake. What's out there? I don't know the capabilities of this beam using maniac. Oh. Well, clearly he doesn't have any idea where I am. I can hear their demonic chirping from here. I feel like I should just definitely go to war with them right now. I'm only grabbing this armor so I can kill those beam-wielding maniacs faster. Oh, good lord, do I have to release them? I'm sure these lawn ornaments could create a distraction. No one likes having a gnome infestation on their hands. Acceptable. You can distract both the sentinels and the eradicators. Then sneak up on them. How do you know what they are? What? What? Okay. That was... Okay, okay, all of you, get out of the poison. Quit huffing paint. Reds! Greens! In the case of being superbly annoying, this is definitely one of those portions. Annoying. It's all this is. Okay, I guess I honestly should have expected that. And that's a, basically a completely fair and reasonable point that the game has made here. How did the Empire pick that up? Because it's surrounded by toxins. Alright, it won't take us that long to actually get back there. Where is the other Eradicator? Are they both... oh my god, they're both waiting right there. I have no greens and no patience for this. I mean, it allows me to go freely about this place. They're both looking away... Oh, ooh, ooh! Okay. That's at least clever. This spot's mine. Two, three, four. So we'll take a small section. Sorry, I wasn't counting myself, apparently. Take a small section of greens with me. Hop on over here. Release the gnomes. Run away before any of us actually start dying. Should not be able to chase me. Excellent! It worked! Hallelujah. Get over here, Green, before you kill yourself. Hallelujah. It actually worked as intended. I'm surprised they didn't go and report it. Hmm. These guards definitely are a part of the Metal Gear Solid continuum. Alright, now to go. Oh, I can't go over there and kill the gnomes? Seriously? Game, you disappoint me greatly. Alright, that's the first one. First gate is now open. Turn the wheel and steal our green hive back! 
Dear me, aren't we a forgetful overlord? Go back and get the green hive! Oh. No point. And I mean, there's zero point as of right now. We aren't forgetful, Gnarl. We're seeing what's simply ahead if we should even try opening up the gate. You know to know that some guards might actually notice that we're trying to take this, right? Right? Or perhaps you just don't see the bigger picture here, Gnarl. <sighs> Come along, greens. Of course, we're stuck. Get back here. Well, that's her out of the way. Cheap hussy. Trying to come between us and our hubbies. I'm going to get myself an elf lover. They really know how to appreciate a larger lady. I know. Have you seen the size of their priestesses? I sincerely hope to kill the lot of them. I still hear the demonic chirping and I want to go slaughter the lot of them. Right, bring in the gnome. Gnomes. Hardly any magic and too weak for the arena. Waste of an eradication, if you ask me. Right, what's next? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't have any magical powers. Will these upstanding Empire citizens say that you do? Yes, she bewitched my husband, Governess. They weren't bewitched. They were bored. I can't help it if rich and powerful men are attracted to me. She's a witch. She must be. Silence! There is only one way to judge this. I knew it. Eradicate her this instant. Wait! Since this is such an unusual specimen, I'd like to examine her carefully before she is cleansed. Your machine? It's broken. I don't have any magic. Let me go! Unhand me, you plebeians! Remember, Master. Hide first, wench later. Mm. Huh. No. What No meant to say is focus on the task in hand. Of course, if you happen upon this prisoner of the Empire, then I'm sure she would be most useful in uh, passing on any essential insider information. Mm. Hmm. Damn it, Gnarl. Uh... Can you keep it in your pants for two seconds? I'll get the wench later. We're busy now. Hmm. Otacon, what do you make of all this? If they have a way to detect magic, why wouldn't it have pinged off of us first? Group of you! What are you doing? I ordered you to attack, you retards! Uh, Greens! Answer me, master! Oh god, I have to listen to this the entire time. And all because my Greens have a case of suicidal stupidity. <sighs> Let's continue. Sigh. If you're seeing this, they should have attacked immediately. And what do they do? Nothing. Otacon, how do I make the greens actually listen to me? Well, you can't, Snake. They're... they're stupidity. It's terminal. Well, this is definitely uneventful having to travel back to this point each and every time, but at least it's quick. I want to kill off all the fatsos, because I guarantee you they're going to be the boss fight of this area. Kill! Oh, thank goodness you paid attention! Alright. Get the hive. I hear someone whispering. Those are sentinels, master. It seems as though they can detect magical creatures. That's bad news for us. You're going to have to take them out before we can get the hive away. What is the mechanism by which they detect magic? Is that in and of itself not magical? 
are you two? Hold it. Oh my goodness. Get out of there. Morons. We have ten of you to deal with now. Alright, red spotlight is bad, okay? I wonder, what will that unleash if it was discovered? Oh. Okay. Do I just kill? No. That'd be way too simple. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I guess. It is just lightning bolt, whatever. Also, I'm fairly certain they'd be able to notice a gnome as it's getting shocked at her feet. Eh, oh well. Series of unfortunate events in that rot. You can break this open. Basic bastards. You can break it open. Oh, there's legitimately nothing? Okay. I wonder, am I doubling my gains even while in this form? I need to be in a large form with my actual equipment to pull that off. I should also go grab the hive before this becomes problematic. Alright, let's actually go and grab the hive. That's right, I forgot to go grab the evil crystal from the from Nordberg. There's a lot of eyeballs. They, they, they seem to have a small fetish of it. So do I hear the women mewling? Because those can't be cows. That's the sound of a fat woman, clearly. A fat empire lady. Oh god, she's singing, so Rome's burning, I think. Oh god, I forgot what the saying was. It was supposed to be clever, and it failed miserably. Oh well. <sighs> Let's keep going. Okay, so you're going to attempt to shock me as we run on by. Ah, oh, more greens available. Hallelujah. Welcome back to the fold. Get daggers and get ready to stab them to death. Or it's going to be a case of we're immediately discovered. We're locked off in this direction. I see the eradicator down there. He's important. There's one that was permanently standing by here, but now I'm curious where the eradicator went. Aha, that's where you've gone. Okay. I don't want to free you now. Go! Why aren't you killing them faster? Seriously! All of you. Seriously? All of you. Do I have to sweep you to have you jump up and kill him? Lord. Yeah, I actually have to go back now. Alright, we're gonna just open this up. One suicidal charge later. Of course, the lot of you are morons. You know what? Fine. Fine. Kill me. Kill me and let us get this over with. Green! <sighs> Answer me, master! God. To listen to this constantly. Constantly! <sighs> this wouldn't be this bad. This honestly wouldn't be this bad if the Green's AI was just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. When I say charge at my enemy, I mean jump up on his back and stab him because you were all facing his rear. Uh, at least we can skip all of this. Snake. 
need you know. You're a massive failure. Thanks, Otacon. Honestly, if an Overlord 3 was produced, I would like it to play like Shadow of War, gameplay-esque wise, yet with still the minion combat of before, because I think that would just be hilarious and good fun. Alright, Otacon. Let's try this again. So, this time, open up the button. Do not stand near the staircase. Get ready to backstab him by wandering over right about here. In fact, back up a little bit further. Hmm. Otacon, it didn't work. Otacon. Thank you. Otacon, thank you. You are useless. Can I grind life force right here? Otacon, kill these gnomes. Oh my gosh, it counts. Green's at 12. So I'm gonna go touch the green. Let's go up to 14. No, it only goes up by one. But I forget to turn the helmet back. You know what? Just go and kill for a while. I'll just do this in two places. That way, no matter where they run, they die. I can kill them faster than you. Oh my gosh, can I just farm these guys infinite, like infinitely? Or is this what I'm supposed to do? Whatever it is, my green is off by it. Ying, greens, what the hell? Okay, in, in all honesty, it'd, it'd be very boring for me to do this constantly. It's just interesting thought experiment is I don't know if I could just kill up enough gnomes now to actually get my full powers. But it does give me a lot of minions, so I'm just gonna let these guys go and have a heyday. They're even offering me green gnomes. How quaint. Anyway, more supplies, let's go get the green hive. But I, like, drain the gnomes of all their supplies. That's very likely. Oh my gosh, they're grabbing hats. Somebody stop their sinful hands. Oh, what is down here, actually? More treasure. I guess. I don't want to actually kill these, I just want to grab the treasure and get a move on, seriously. I mean, I'm already planning for this episode to be a little bit longer than average, just because I've been screwing around so often. Oh, baby. Baby. Give me. Give give. Sorry, I was about to complain. Are all these greens suffering brain damage? So many supplies. So many weapons. Ten bucks says I'm going to have to fight soon. There we go. Open up the freaking gate, please. Alright, genociding the gnomes should stop soon.